am in the basement. Um, I thought I would do a change of scenery. I feel like I'm always filming upstairs or my kitchen or whatever. So today, finally, 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 I am filming my video making Cameron's poster board um, of when he comes home. So um, a lot of these items I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, Cameron comes home. Soon-ish. My baby's crying upstairs. My mom is with him, but he's crying for me because I went downstairs. Um, so Cameron comes home soon-ish. I can't tell you guys exactly when he comes home um, for safety reasons, obviously. Um, but he does come home soon-ish. So about to have my poster ready for him. Um, so yeah. I have this like foam poster board, where are these? Yeah, a foam board. Um, it's like kind of beat up because my kids. Um, and then I also found this board, which is, I also found this board, which is like the, what is that called? I don't know what that's called, but um, the only, the only thing is this board is bigger than this board. So I'm actually going to just cut out the silver part of this board and glue it to this one or yeah, I'll probably glue it. Um, and the reason why I want to use a foam board is just because it'll be easier for Landon to actually hold it. Um, since this board is for Landon, I will say camera comes in pretty late. Um, so hopefully Landon's even awake. Uh, I think he will be just because it's daddy coming home. But I thought a foam board would be easier than something like this because I feel like he would kind of like, since he's so little, he'll kind of hold it like this. I want you to see it. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, I got these poster these are poster letters um 78 count this one's blue and purple and this one's red and orange so obviously i want the red and blue so i just got a two pack um i also found these um stickers yeah these ones i'm pretty sure i have to glue them on and these ones are actually stickers and these ones are just like silvery um like a silver sparkle like that um and another one of those red and orange, another one of those silver. Um, just make sure I have enough, and you can always use like, other things too, especially for land and crafts. Stay tuned too, because I do have some crafting videos I'm going to be doing for Asher's first birthday party. Um, I have a lot of things I need to do for that party, so I plan on doing it soon. It should be really fun. Okay, where's all my stuff? Actually, I probably, right now, I'm actually probably going to go through the red and blue and take out, um, out of my way. I get my daddy back today. I think that's what I'm doing, right? I have a picture of it. Oop, I have a picture of it on my phone. That's what I plan on doing. Lana's going to be holding the board, so I want it for him. Um, Asher will definitely be asleep by the time we go. I'm hoping it's not a shit show because of the fact that it's, um, it's going to be pretty late when he comes home, but it's all right. Um, I think I'm also going to get shirts made, um, for the boys. I think I'm going to make shirts. Um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Um, just because I have a lot going on. Um, but I thought it'd be cute too, but, um. Yeah, out of our way, we get our daddy back today. So I'm just going to go ahead and get all of these out. Um, and I thought I would talk to you guys because it's a vlogmas. And, you know, oh yeah, these are pretty, like, these are, like, pretty papery. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of doing, like, red, blue, red, blue. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I would talk to you guys. It's vlogmas. This is a lot harder than I thought thought it would be um like filming every day has been pretty tough thankfully my mom is here so um thankfully I don't I don't think I would have been able to do vlogmas if she wasn't here just because she's been helping like when I need to edit um and you know I still work full-time so um it's been an adjustment trying to juggle everything and 
still film content. Like right now, Asher did not want to sleep, so um, Landon's napping. So my mom was like, I'll oh, just, you can just go now. So um, I'm filming this quickly. Um, I organized my closet already, which is something I really need to do too. Um, anyone else has like coat closet or a closet that you put like all your jackets and stuff and get so messy because mine was just so bad. Because our coat closet is a coat closet. It has our dog food in there. It has um, jackets in there. But I also made a second pantry because my pantry is too small. Um, and I have so much like stockpile items. So <laughs> it's just, it's just, it was crazy in there. And if Cameron saw that, he would have like went to shock. So I don't have any more Q's or O's in the blue, so I have to write get out of my way. We get our, and I'm going to put in silver, daddy back today. Um, so I think it looks so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the poster board now. I can just use, I have this like bowler cutter. I wonder if this will work. I don't want to like ruin the but so yeah you guys Cameron's coming home soon thank god it's been the longest like six six and a half months since he's been gone um you now we thought he's coming home in October but that didn't happen and you know what but you know everything happens for a reason and at least he's coming home for our birthday and for Christmas, and he'll be able to, he'll be home like the whole month, so that would be really fun. We get to just have lots of daddy cuddles. Um, I kind of want to talk about deployment because I know a lot of people always ask me, like, how do you get through it? Do you like being a military wife? How do you do it? And honestly, I hate being a military wife, but I chose to marry my husband. Um, I've been with my husband before he even joined the military. So for me, it's one of those things where, you know, I just I have to just suck it up because I chose him and I love him. And, you know, he's now the father of my children. So... It's hard, and it's definitely harder, like, <laughs> with the deployments, but, I mean, I chose him. You know, sometimes you have to make sacrifices for the people that you love, um, and that's just like him. He loves us, and he's making sacrifices for his job and for his country, and the least I can do is <laughs> not give him a hard time about it and just take care of the family, so... I probably shouldn't be doing this on my carpet, but let's just hope for the best. Um, but yeah, I love him, so I'm doing it for him. My poster board isn't 
egg and egg. So I think I'm going to cut my board smaller. Take a fit. Probably, yeah. Let's do that. So that's not working. The tip that I have for deployment is definitely keep busy. I know a lot of people say it. Um, and it's definitely 100% easier said than done. Um, but to be honest with you, Keeping busy will keep you sane. I know at least for me having two kids um, and I do work pretty much full time um, from home. I've been extremely busy. Um, it's not always the easiest, but I've been extremely busy and you know, some days just fly by and I'm like, oh my God, it's already like the end of the day. And then I have days where I'm like, I'm barely surviving and I don't know how I'm gonna do another day. But Keeping busy definitely makes the days go by fast. Um, unfortunately, I my husband was deployed during uh, a pandemic, so it's hard to have like family visit or anything like that. But if you can have family visit, have them visit, have them help, go home, um, spend time with family, uh, because being surrounded by family definitely helps. Um, let's see Kind of like cut the end of this off. Um, yeah, be surrounded by family if you can. Like I said, for me, I was this is the pandemic is going on, so a little harder. But I did have like my sister in law come out while um, he was gone for two weeks, and then my mom was actually here for the first two weeks that he left. And my mom is actually currently here again. Thank God. Um, with everything going on, um, she took a COVID test and. It was negative, so she was like, I can come out. Um, so thank God for her. I mean, my mom also works, so she wasn't able to come out, but um, she was able to come. Also, that's so cute. Um, that is a little good. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to place them on here first, just so I get the spacement on there, um, and then I'll go ahead and glue them. Um, but yeah, thankfully my mom is here now. I literally love my mom's here, so um, she's like the best. Like, she helps me so much with the boys and like cooking and cleaning. Posters are all small. Thankfully, too, where Cameron was stationed, we were able to talk to him um, every day. Um, we did pay for a special Wi-Fi room and everything. I decided, because I couldn't really fit this on here, I just have to write out of my way, we get, I'm gonna daddy back today. Um, so, I'm gonna put daddy down first, just to kinda get that on the board. But, yeah you guys, um, deployment is, uh, deployment's rough. And, you definitely gotta make like the best of it, I feel like. I feel like that's not big enough. I feel like it's not gonna like look good. Oh man. That's like so small. <gasps> Hold on guys, what? Uh, my camera like is being weird, but I had to change the sign to move it or lose it. Daddy's home just because the other way it was just wasn't making sense and it wasn't fitting. Um, so it's gonna look like this. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this. And, um, so yeah, deployment's freaking hard. Um, surround yourself with family if you can. If you have kids, I know it's hard. 
Um, so if you have like older kids that are in school, you can't just like pick up and leave like if they have school and stuff. Um, so I know it's hard, but try to surround yourself with people if you can. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, and if you are a stay-at-home mom or anything like that, make sure you have time to leave because uh -huh, that's one thing I definitely didn't do enough uh, was asking for help and getting out of the house when I needed um, because I didn't do that. And to be honest with you, I went a little stir crazy a lot. Um, definitely ask for help. Get out of the house. Go have girls' nights. I actually had quite a few girls' nights. Thank God for my friends. Um, I had a few friends that were kind of... Um, I have a few friends that just understood. Um, and they were just there for me, and I appreciate it. Um, I had one friend. She was actually also going through deployment with her husband. Um, and it was nice because, like, she knew what we were going through, and she knew what I was going through, and she also had a daughter um, close in age. So, um, yeah, I mean, definitely surround yourself with positive people. Um, another thing is make care packages. I know a lot of people, like, I know that's, like, a given, but... It helps make you like think of them and it also lets them know you're thinking of them. Um, and I feel like they enjoy it just as much as you will. I don't know. This literally looks like oh, my toddler did it, but it doesn't matter. We can pretend that he did it. take these little ones and kind of write like underneath the D. Yeah, it's so cute. So, I think that's just poster. Um, I think I'm gonna do this little cheap one that I have. Um, I think I'm gonna do it in purple. Report for booty. I'm quickly gonna clean up all the mess that I made. These are my two signs. So this one just says, move it or lose it, daddy's home. So this is the one I made for Cameron, report for booty, Staff Sergeant Tara. I wrote NCO at first because that's how I thought it was, but no, it's SSGT. So, yeah, I don't know what else to try to talk about. I just kind of wanted to do my sign quickly and show you, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about, but basically just stay strong. Um, they will come home. I'm not going to lie, I was pretty upset when he found out he was deploying, um, but he's been in for a while and I'm surprised he hasn't deployed yet. Um, deploy isn't or wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's true what they say about the return games that it gets pushed a bunch of times. Um, I'm still not even 100% sure if he's coming home when he's supposed to. Um, I will not think anything of it until he's actually on a plane. So. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for him to come home. Um, I'm with you guys if you're watching this video and your husband's deploy or your wife's deploy, whatever the case is. Um, I feel for you. It's hard, but you're strong. You 
you have a community behind you, remember that. I'm always here to talk to anybody if you want. I love talking to my military um, spouses. Um, I'm not going to lie, I hate the community sometimes because I feel like everyone just talks crap about each other and it's hard to find like authentic friends. Um, but I'm here for you guys. If you guys want, feel free to message me. Um, this platform has brought me to meet so many women. Um, and I love this community that I've built. I have like a mixture of military spouses and moms and beauty gurus and whatever, um, which I am no longer in that subdivision. But um, I am a mom, I am a military wife, and I understand. And I am with you, I feel for you, I love you. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. If your loved one is deployed, let me know down below. Let's talk. Let's chat. I cannot wait to update you guys when he comes home. So stay tuned because there will be like a homecoming video and there will probably be a few more like prepping videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.